All right, well, I'm still here, and I'm back. I uh, still got my hair. Uh, I've been doing a lot better. I can, I, I'm able to get up and down the steps halfway decent, but still, I, you know, I'm a little leery. I got to hang on to things. Uh, it's, you know, it's. If anybody's uh, watched any of my other videos, I had a bad spout there with uh, my back. Uh, the bones are rubbing up against the nerves and giving me some very severe pain in my legs and stuff. Now, that comes and goes. I had my good days, my bad days. Uh, my biggest problem is trying to sleep at night, so they got me on some good pain pills that, you know, help me get through the night. But uh, I haven't been able to come down here and really get into anything. Uh, what I've been doing is, uh, if anybody knows, I've been working on my stamps. I've been trying to get my worldwide collection straightened out. <clears throat> uh, I'm actually a, uh, a U.S. and Canada collector, but I've got tons and tons of worldwide. Um, I just finished up Sweden. Trying to get that one finished up. Uh, I've got a few of these little black binders here. Uh, it's upside down. There it is. That's Sweden. I uh, did Denmark. This is Sweden. Now I'm working on Switzerland. Just printed out a bunch of pages for that. Um, but Sweden came out pretty nice. If I can get this in view. Does that look right? Sweden came out pretty decent. Now I bought a disc off of a guy here in the United States about back in 2005 who's got all these countries in it, just about every country in the world in it, and uh, I'm able to print out these pages and it really makes for a, a good way to organize your stamps. That's how the pages come out. And uh, like I said, that's what I was doing. I'm down here printing out some pages for Switzerland, and I'm working on that country right now. But that's not why I'm down here. Uh, I think it's about time of the year where I clean some of my models. And I'm going to show you what I do and how I do it, how I, I clean my models. They sit around in the house and they collect dust. So I'm going to show you the process I go through and what I do to, uh, to spiff them up a little bit. And uh, you got to be very careful because if you know putting them together, you got some very fragile parts on them. The little pieces that stick up can break easy or anything. So I'm going to show you my process. Uh, I've got the... Uh, um, <laughs> Alzheimer moment. Um, I got my ship down here that I made, the Blue Nose, and I know that because it's on the front of the bow. Uh, I got my Blue Nose down here, and it sits up in the dining room on a shelf. So I'm going to kind of dust it off, and then I'll bring in the Arizona because it's in the basement, and it's kind of dusty in there, and I'm going to dust that one off and show you what I do and how I do it. It's not rocket science, but... Uh, it's just uh, an easy way I found of doing it. Um, I had a fellow write me a comment a couple about a week and a half ago. I swear to God, I, I, I don't know what's with these people. I, I guess they got nothing better to do than to sit around and say, well, let's pick on this guy today. And then you go to their channel, and like I said before, they're, they're very critical of other people, but you go to their channel, and they don't have nothing up. They don't have a single model or anything that they've done that I can say, oh, well, okay, I, yeah, he's pretty good. He knows what he's talking about. This guy left me a comment. He watched the, uh, I think it was one and a half videos of my Dora build. He said he got halfway through the second, he couldn't watch no more. And his final comment was, I will never be a model builder. I don't know what I'm doing and this and that. You, you only watched the, you, the first video was cleaning the parts. <laughs> uh, apparently he didn't watch the last video to see how well the model came out. So, uh, yeah, you're going to get these kind of people. You know, you, you get into the public eye and this is what happens. 
So uh, I just, it's, it's water off a duck's back, you know, it just, I, I, I just try not to let it bother me and go on. Uh, I, I left it up there, it's, it's up there in probably my second door build if anybody wants to watch it. I'll probably leave it up a couple more weeks and then it's coming down. Uh, but just, some people just ain't happy in this world and I, I think they use YouTube as their outlet to relieve their tensions or their, uh, I don't know, they're, they're, they're just upset with things and they don't know what to do, how to handle life. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera around get you set up over here. I'm in front of the spray booth because I'm going to turn the spray booth on so it might be a little noisy, but it, it'll help suck some of this dust out if there is any. Uh, I cleaned this uh, blue nose not too long ago, a couple months ago, so it shouldn't be too dusty. But uh, I got some. I got my son coming up from Florida next month, so we're trying to get things around the house looking halfway decent. All right. So enough of that being said. Let me get the camera turned around. Okay. So I uh, I got the camera about five or six feet away because I got it plugged into the wall. I haven't used it for a while. That's a very short cord, and this is as close as I could get. But if you also see, I get any closer, and I can't. I don't even have the whole model in the in the film right now. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I just wanted to see you, show you what I got and what I'm dealing with. Uh, like I said, the spray booth is behind it, so uh, I'll be turning that on, and then I'll be uh, working on this thing, and I'll show you what I do. All right. So let me zoom in a little bit here for you. If I can get the, the right way to go here. Nope, wrong way. Alright, let me get down a little bit. I think that's close enough. Yeah, that, that ought to be good enough. Can't see that. Move, I'm adjusting the camp. There we go. Alright. So, what have I got? Well, number one, I got my eyeglasses and let me turn the land so I can see what you're seeing all right and I just bumped it out of whack let me turn it a little bit more this way there we go all right so I got my glasses very first thing I gotta see all right now I've talked about this in some of my other videos that's a woman's makeup brush all right you can see how long it is there's my hand it's a woman's makeup brush. Very soft, fine bristle. Look at the dust coming out of it from the last time I used it. All right. Makeup brush. Very soft bristles. That's important because you don't want something stiff and knocking parts off. Now, you've got a couple ways you can do this. Canned air. All right. Uh... The only thing I don't like about this, this is really good, it, it, it works great. But the only thing I don't like about it is it comes out under too much pressure, all right? And if you got some very delicate parts on there, you can blow them right off the model if you're not careful. So you either have to get way back or be very careful in using this. So what I'm going to use, since I have it set up, is my airbrush and my compressor. I can control the, the pressure of the air coming out of this thing. You don't need a lot. You just want to kind of dust around a little bit and where you can't get, you want to get in there with some air and blow it around. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use my airbrush. All right. So let me get the, get the spray booth turned on here. Like I said, it's probably going to make some noise. There we go. Alright. So I'm just going to start out real easy by going over it with some, with some air. Alright. Don't look like I'm doing anything. But uh, it's knocking loose the heavier particles if there is any. And I don't see where this is very dusty. Like I said, I cleaned it a couple months ago. And I just thought I'd bring it down here as a demonstration. 
I think that Arizona is going to be a lot worse. All right, now I'm going to take this, uh, this makeup brush and I'm going to lightly go across some of my rigging, all right? Because you know how this cotton is uh, and polyester rigging and with this uh, beeswax on there, it kind of collects dust. It's kind of like a magnet. I'm just lightly going over my rigging. Getting in there and just barely touching it. If you can see that. Okay. Getting every bit that I can get. And it might not knock it off, but it'll, it'll loosen it up enough that this air from this airbrush will uh, blow it off. Get the top of the ship. Now I'm going to come down here and, and dust around on the deck. Okay. And some of this, uh, well, they call it cabin or deck furniture. Just kind of dust around, get in here inside of parts. And see what I got to be careful of is down in here. Uh, I don't know where my here it is. Right here it is. Uh, down inside here, I've got some uh, string wrapped around these belay pins, looking like uh, rope. And you got to be careful with that stuff. You might have it glued on there, but it, it's not on there real all that good. So you got to be careful with stuff like that. So I'm just getting down in here, some of this stuff. It doesn't take a whole lot to do this, especially if you got this air. And we'll do down along the bottom. Of course, the dust doesn't really settle upside down, but. There's a hair or something right there. Do the rails. So you kind of get the idea. Uh, do that stuff. Kind of give the sails a good going over because they're, them too have a tendency to act like a dust magnet. I know some of this is probably out of view, but uh, you can see. Kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. I don't know what this is. Looks like a couple little stains in the sail from something. But it gives it character. All right. Now, I think what I'm going to do is turn the pressure up on this a little bit. Let me get my compressor out here a little bit where I can see what I got. Uh, hold on a minute. Trying to work this out. I haven't used this for a while. Okay. What am I up to here? I'm up to about 25 pounds of air. And that's coming out pretty good. Alright, so now I'm just going to go over everything real good. Okay. Go over all my uh, rigging. All over the deck. Down underneath where I just did. Okay. And this, you know, like I said, this model wasn't all that dirty. I just cleaned it, so. But it's good to do this every few months, maybe every five or six months. Uh, personally, that's my opinion. Uh, you guys, depending on how dusty your house is, Maybe a little more often. Alright, so you get the idea. Do some of this stuff here. Get around in here real good. Now, anybody that's built models probably knows all about this, but there's a lot of new guys out there who never give this a second thought, you know? So, uh, so I'm going to get it spun around 
and do the other side. I'm not going to bore you with that. And then I'll bring in the Arizona because that's uh, one of my bigger plastic models sitting in the other room where it's kind of dusty. So bear with me a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so here comes the Arizona. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just showing up. Uh, you see how dusty that is? That's pretty bad. And this is sitting in the other side of the basement over there. Alright, so uh, this is where this brush comes in real handy. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll just start cleaning it up. Now this does lift off of here, which is what I probably should do. Go ahead and set the model over here out of the way. Now let's get this base cleaned up real good. And that's why this uh, vent here is running to get this dust out of here. Now we're going to just blow it off real good. Alright. Now we can put the model back on here. Something like that. Okay, so this is where you got to be very careful. There are so many small parts on here, photo etch, railing, stuff like that, that if you're not real careful and, and kind of go with the flow, like my railings are running this way, so I'm going to brush this way and uh, get up in here and just kind of dabble around on some of this stuff just to knock the dust loose. This is where you got to be real careful with some of this stuff. And that's why this, this brush is, is perfect for this because it's very fine bristles. Do some of my rigging. Anybody who watched this knows that I tore all the old rigging off and redone it with that, um, what do you call that stuff? I can't remember anymore. It's that stretchy rigging that you can buy. Alright, so we're going to blow this side off. And you can see just little 25 pounds of air blowing my turrets around. Do the side. I didn't really get the sides done real good. But you got so many small fiddly parts on here. Be very careful. And that's the same way with, like I said, this canned air. It, it'll just knock them right off. Comes out of there with a lot of pressure. All right, let me spin this one around. And you can see it only takes a few minutes, a few minutes of your time. What I really need to do is go in and get all my other ones and bring them in here. Because I can imagine if this is this dusty, what those must be like. And look at this here a minute. Photo etch railing looks a little bent up right there, probably from me handling it. I try not to grab the model any way like this, I always grab it from the bottom. But I don't know how that got messed up. But things happen. And, uh, I really do wish I could get back down here and get back into working on some models, but it's just it, it's a pain in the ass for me to come down here and, and set for any kind of period of time. 
Now, I'm sitting up there at the dining room table for a couple hours at a time working on stamps. And you think, well, why can't you work on a model? You know, I don't know. It's just getting up and down them steps sometimes. It's kind of tough. Uh, cotton powers cleaned off real good. Get them little boats in there load out. Let me do the top of the chimney stack. It whoops. It looks a little dirty. I cleaned that up. All right, so you can see it only takes a few minutes. Go get the next model. Come in here and do another one. All right, so let me turn this camera back around. All right, so there you go. A little short and sweet video. Uh, and like I always said, this is the way I do it, okay? Uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably saying, well, why don't you get a glass case for that ship? Uh, yeah, well, send me a few hundred bucks and I'll do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish I had a nice display case or what they call those things, curio cabinet or whatever it is, where I could put all this stuff and not have to worry about this. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's either my models, my stamps, or a display case. Uh, well, that's on the bottom of the list. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more models in here. I won't even attempt to move that Dora gun. I'll just clean it right where it's at. Uh, I'll bring the uh, compressor over there closer where I can reach it. But uh, yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to move that Dora gun. But I'll bring in a couple of my other small ones and get them all cleaned up for the for the next six months, and that'll be it. So uh, I just want to let everybody know I'm still out there, still hanging around. Just, uh, I, re I really miss making these videos and building models. I really do. Uh, I, I actually miss m making the videos more than anything. And I actually thought about starting up a channel on just my stamp collecting, but, you know, there's not too many guys around anymore. I don't think they'd find it very interesting. All right, so, uh, I don't know when I'll be back. But I'm always here. I'm always reading all the questions and, and comments I get. Um, so keep them coming. I do appreciate them. It lets me know that people are still watching my videos. All right, so I think that's going to be it. So uh, I know this is uh, the middle of January, and I hope everybody had good holidays. Uh, I know we did. Um, a little painful for me still, but... You know, it's been a year now since all this stuff settled in on me, and I'm still going through a lot of problems. But uh, I'm working through it. I'm getting better. And like I said, I have my good days and bad days. All right, enough about me. I just wanted to show you a little bit about how I clean my models. Just a little short clip. All right, see you later.